do you think Darwin's finches are really that unique? In other words, um, is there something particular about that group of birds in that particular environment in the Galapagos Islands? Or could you find similar model systems in, in, in other places? The, um, of the two, that is, the intrinsic properties of the birds and the, uh, the properties of the environment, I would pinpoint the uh, properties of the environment as being the most important. I think other bird species put in the same environment m might have done the same thing, that is, diversify into many species from a single ancestral stock. So what is special about the Galapagos is it's an archipelago of many islands. Um, the counts vary according to the minimum size, but it's something like 18 major islands and a lot of much smaller islands. They're isolated from any other major landmass uh, by a minimum of a thousand kilometers. And in this isolated setting, those few individuals that can get out there have the opportunity to diversify on different islands. So that, I think, is the most important factor. The birds themselves, the finches, do they have particular properties that make them more prone to uh, diversify in the way they do? I don't think we know enough to be able to answer that question. They have rapidly evolved, but then you look around the world and you see other creatures that have evolved rapidly also like cichlid fish in the Great Lakes of Africa and uh, the honey creeper finches on Hawaii. Yeah. And I'd also say that I think um, that all the results that we've actually found are general generalizable. <laughs> all the results we've found are generalizable to other studies. Yeah. And as Peter said, what is unique about um, it, the Galapagos is that it's a very young radiation and we're actually able to measure the changes. The other thing that is unique, and I'm not sure if you said this, is that um, it's sitting astride, the archipelago is sitting astride the equator and so it's subject to the oscillations of the El Nino Southern Oscillation phenomenon. So we get years of droughts interspersed with very wet years. And in years of intense droughts, we can get up to 90% um, of the birds dying. Wow. So this gives us a huge opportunity in order to measure natural selection, which is possibly not so easily done in other yeah. situations. Yeah.